Hello everyone, I hope you are doing well. Welcome to our presentation titled Cable State Bridges General Overview Brought to you by a group of students in University of Baghdad College of Engineering Civil Engineering Department This presentation will be divided into three sections The first is an introduction with some history Overview and History a cable state bridge is a structural system with a continuous girder supported by inclined stay cables from the towers. From the mechanical point of view, the cable state bridge is a continuous girder bridge supported by elastic supports. The cable state bridge ranks first for a span range approximately from 115 to 600 meter, which has longer spanning capacity than that of cantilever bridges, truss bridges, arch bridges, and box girder bridges but shorter than that of suspension bridges. The earliest design of cable state bridge dates back to 1595, which is evident from the book of Machinae Novae. Several cable state bridges were built in the early part of 19th century, but it wasn't until the 1950s did the start become prevalent like other bridge type, such as truss bridges, arch bridges, and suspension bridges. Several cable state bridges collapsed due to lack of understanding of such a system, particularly due to inadequate resistance since it wasn't possible to tension the stays, and they would become slack under various load conditions. A typical cable state bridge. This figure shows the main components of the cable state bridge, which is the tower, stay cables, and girder. Basic concept. The concept of cable state bridge is simple as all the members in cable state bridge mainly work in either tension or compression. The stay cables provide intermediate elastic support for carrying the vertical loads acting on the main girder so that it can span a longer distance. To carry the loads applied on the bridge deck, the cables need to sustain the tensile axial force, which therefore results in compression force in both pylons and main girders. Though there are also some bending moments or other forces in pylons and the main girders, generally their effects are much smaller than that of the axial forces. It is well known that axially loaded members are more efficient than flexural members, which contributes to the structural efficiency and economy of cable state bridges. In this section, we will deal with the classification and configuration of cable state bridges. This type of bridges can be classified based on three considerations. Number one, stay cable arrangements. According to the longitudinal cable layout, the cable state bridges can be classified into four types. Mono cable system. The mono design uses a single cable from its towers and is one of the lesser types used and is rarely built. Fan cable system. In the fan design, all stay cables connect to or pass over the top of the towers. Modified fan cable system. To avoid difficulties in a fan cable system due to the fixation together of cable stays, the modified fan cable system is developed. Harp cable system. In the harp cable system, the cables are nearly parallel to each other so that the higher of their fixed points on the tower is proportional to the distance from the tower to their positions on the deck. The second consideration is the lateral cable arrangements. In the lateral direction, the cable system can be arranged as one single plane above the center line, two planes, either vertical or inclined, at the edges of the girder, or three planes connect to the center line and both edges of the girder. The third one is the number of spans or towers. The cable state bridge can be designed as single span, two spans, three spans, or multiple spans. However, cable state bridges having either three or two cable state spans are more widely used, which is because the cable stays and the anchor pier are important for the stability of the pylon. When a bridge has more than three spans, the main problem is the lack of longitudinal restraint to the top of the intermediate pylons which cannot be directly anchored to an approach pier. Large deformations can occur in multiple span cable stated bridges under the live load. This problem can be solved in the following ways. A. By increasing the stiffness of pylons. 
as in using the A-frame braced pylon as shown in the figure 1A. B. By using additional horizontal cables between tower tops, directly transfer any out-of-balance forces to the anchor stays in the end spans. C. By using additional cables to connect the top of the internal pylons to the adjacent pylon at deck level so that any out-of-balance forces are resisted by the stiffness of the pylon below deck level. D. By using additional tie-down piers at span centers or E. By adding additional cables at the mid-spans. Cable state bridges, as we mentioned earlier, composed of cables, pylon, and deck. Cables. Cable stays are the key load carrying and transferring members in cable state bridges, and the main problems with the early cable stay bridges were deficiencies with the anchorage system, steel material, and corrosion. This figure shows the types of cables used. Number two, pylon. The pylons can be designed as a single column projecting through the center of the deck, but sometimes located on one side, such as in curved cable state bridges. This figure shows a numerous type of pylons. Number three, deck. In general, the deck needs to resist both bending moment from the dead weight and live load and the axial force derived from the horizontal component of the stay force. Therefore, unlike the deck in a suspension bridge, the deck can be designed as different sections or structural forms in cable state bridges. There are three types of decks, steel deck, concrete deck, and composite deck. The steel deck for early cable state bridges, the steel deck was used due to its high load capacity to weight ratio and larger span capacity between cable stays. In addition, the reduction in deck weight can result in an economic design for large span bridges. Concrete deck. Reinforced or pre-stressed concrete decks can be made of precast elements or they can be cast in a place. The concrete deck is suitable for medium spans because the cost of concrete is relatively low but its weight increases the dead load of the bridge, thus requiring larger dimensions for cables, pylons, piers, and anchor structures. Composite deck. Composite construction of steel concrete is a popular structural method. The optimal combination of the properties of the two most popular construction materials that is steel and concrete results in structures that are both safe and economic. On this section, we will deal with the analysis and construction of cable state bridges. Analysis of cable state bridge. Both static and seismic analysis should be performed on cable state bridge. For the analysis of modern cable state bridge, finite element analysis analysis are always necessary. The pylon dig and the cable stays will be modeled by suitable element and the fishbone model usually used simulates the whole bridge. The stays can be represented with the small inertia and modify modulus of elasticity that will model the sag behavior of stay. In addition, for considering the force transformation and load redistribution during the erection, stage by stage phase analysis is always necessary. A typical fishbone model, a cable state bridge, is illustrated in Figure 2, and both linear and nonlinear analysis can be performed by using FEM software package. In addition to the static analysis, the dynamic analysis for determining the dynamic performance of cable state bridge, such as frequencies and the vibration modes, should also be performed. Construction Construction of cable state bridge. As the video shows, the stage constructing a cable state bridge using method called free cantilever. The first stage pylons and the deck unit above the main piers are erected and fixed to the piers. In the second stage, uh, new deck segments are erected by free cantilevering from the pylon, either symmetrically in both direction or all into the main span. The stay cables are installed and tensioned initially to relieve the bending moment in the deck. The stage 2 repaired until the deck and mid span are connected. For this method, the construction uh, safety, especially of the typical fishbone model of a cable state bridge. The final stage before the connection of the deck mid span largest cantilever condition should be carefully confirmed. Pros and cons of cable state bridge. Pros Construction method is simple cantilever method, typically built for larger span. 
symbol to design and support the suspension price. Cons. Cons. May require beer or at least tower on other side of the site. More susceptible to damage by wind forces, also weak in torsions. Also cheaper than suspension bridge, can be more expensive for short spans at opposed a truss bridge. In a conclusion, the cable stator bridge is very economical and has elegant appearance due to the relatively small girder depth and has proved to be very competitive against other bridge types. In addition, with the development in a bridge design and construction, more and more cable stator bridges are being built with longer spans. Currently, the Ruska Bridge in Russia is the largest cable stator bridge with the world's longest span at 1,104 meter. And that's it for our presentation. We use these references to make this presentation. If you want to know more, you can visit them. Thank you for your attention.